Okay lads, I'm going to talk to you about another depositional feature which is moraine. And as you can see in the diagram we've got some great examples of lateral moraine and medial moraine. So here is where you've got your medial moraine and on the sides of the glacier here is where you'd have your lateral moraine. Now what happens is lateral moraine is formed by freeze thaw action um, which is occurring all down the sides of the mountainside here, which will generate scree. And this scree then falls into the side of the glacier, so you'd have a line going down here and going all the way down here, and some coming across there. And that's where you get your lateral moraine. And when you've got a mountain in between and the two lateral two glaciers meet, the two lateral moraines will then combine to create this medial moraine that you have here, and also running down the middle there. Eventually at the snout of the glacier, where a lot of deposition occurs, because the glacier has become totally overloaded, it therefore can't carry its material, it deposits it, creating a large ridge known as a terminal moraine, which you might see if this photo is extended a bit further. The glacier may then retreat if we get ablation occurring more than accumulation back up the mountainside. However, in the colder months of the year, it may advance again as accumulation is greater than ablation, and it can bulldoze all of that material to create an even larger terminal moraine. So that's moraine done in about 1 minute 40 seconds. Pretty easy, lads.